Xenocep Starter Kit for EPA Method 1664A without solvent recovery. Apparatus Setup Insert the waste collection tube into the 1 liter flask. Next, assemble the SPE filter holder by first inserting the support, followed by the Xenocep SPE filter, diamond patterned side down. Then insert the coupler and finally the funnel. Secure everything in place for a leak-proof seal with the aluminum clamp. To help ensure low blank values, pre-rinse the side walls of the assembled apparatus with approximately 10 milliliters of hexane. Wait five seconds and briefly apply vacuum to pull the solvent into the waste collection tube. Repeat the pre-rinse step again with another 10 milliliters of hexane. Then apply vacuum for one minute to remove residual solvents and dry the filter. For maximum recovery, properly condition the filter by rinsing the apparatus with 10 milliliters of methanol so the filter is completely covered in solvent. Wait five seconds. Do not allow the filter to dry out during the conditioning step. Briefly apply vacuum on and off to pull methanol into the waste collection tube. Remove the waste collection tube and discard the waste solvent as appropriate. For maximum recovery, displace the excess methanol remaining in the filter by adding approximately 20 milliliters of DI water and briefly applying vacuum to pull this water into the one liter flask. If the filter dries out during this conditioning step, repeat the conditioning step beginning with the addition of methanol to cover the filter. The Xenocep SPE filter is now properly conditioned and ready to extract a 40 milligrams per liter QC sample. Xenocep Starter Kit for EPA Method 1664A without solvent recovery. Steps 1, 2, and 3. Step 1. Extract a 1 liter sample. Slowly pour the sample into the funnel and turn on the vacuum. Maximize recovery by keeping the sample level below the Xenocep logo on the funnel. Complete filtration of a 40 mg per liter QC sample will occur in approximately 20 seconds. After filtration is complete, continue to air dry the filter with vacuum for 4 minutes. After 4 minutes of drying time has elapsed, turn off the vacuum and move the SPE extraction apparatus onto the eluder already containing a disposable sodium sulfate drying column. Completely close the white clamp on the vacuum hose to eliminate potential errors and ensure consistent results. Step 2. Elute Analytes and Dry Extract Now that the oil and grease analytes have been extracted from the sample, we'll elute them off of the filter, remove residual water, and transfer the extract into a flat-sided boiling flask. Add 10 milliliters of hexane to the original sample bottle and use a circular motion for 10 seconds to rinse off any oil and grease analytes adhering to the bottle cap or side walls. When complete, use a 15 milliliter pipette to aspirate the hexane extract from the sample bottle and thoroughly rinse the funnel sidewalls at least three times. Repeat this elution step two more times. After rinsing the bottle and funnel three times, Briefly apply vacuum to dry or dewater the hexane extract by pulling it through the sodium sulfate column and into the flat-sided flask. Rinse the funnel with another 10 milliliters of hexane to ensure a good quantitative transfer of extracted analytes into the flat-sided flask. Apply vacuum for 5 seconds to complete the transfer. Step 3. Concentrate extract and weigh residue. In this final step, we'll concentrate the extract to dryness using a pre-weighed aluminum pan placed on a warm-to-touch, explosion-proof hot plate. Pour the hexane extract from the flat-sided flask into the pan, being careful to prevent spillage and loss of analyte. Rinse the flask with another 5 milliliters of hexane and pour this into the pan to complete the transfer. Evaporate the hexane extract into a well-ventilated hood for approximately two minutes. To prevent loss of the more volatile analytes, remove the pan from the hot plate as soon as dry spots start appearing on the bottom of the pan, and allow the remaining extract to gently evaporate to dryness using airflow from the hood if possible. After the pan is visibly dry, place it in a desiccator for a minimum of 30 minutes. 
After 30 minutes, continue weighing and desiccating the pan until a stable weight can be obtained. Record this final stable weight. To determine the HEM value, subtract the initial pan weight from the final pan weight. The difference is the HEM, or hexane extractable material value, formerly known as oil and grease.